So I'm going to be spending a few moments. I'm Julian Shellard, the chair of Transform Work. And I'd like to again extend a, a big welcome to you all for joining us today. This is our agenda briefly. So I'm going to be providing a, an update on the a financial year that we're reporting on, which actually ended in January. Our financial year um, is Feb to Jan. So this is a few months after that happened. Because of that time lag, Ros is going to provide an update to take us up to date from um, Feb to, to now. Um, then we're going to return looking at finance. Uh, we're going to have a confirmation of officers section. Miles doing a forward look. Uh, we'll have a Q&A time and, and we'll end with Thanksgiving and prayer. So next, we've had the, the, the opening prayer from Fonome. Thank you. So let's go on to my report. Great. So these are extracts from the full annual report, which we will be um, submitting to Companies House this week and uh, will be available for you all to see. We'll put it on our website as well. So um, we begin just by re remembering that we have a strategic direction plan, um, five-year strategy, which obviously we're right in the middle of that, which gives us a, a vision to build a strong base through increasing uh, prayer, updating governance, developing our financial management and rebranding. And there'll be updates on all of those things. So I'm encouraged by how that is going. We just stop here for a moment. Now I've, I've actually given you a little extract from our, our website and, and we'll be talking about the new website as well today. Um, and I just love this. Ross, I think, wrote it. And um, for me, this sums up this this sums it all up. Why we do what we do. Um, if you're not praying for your workplace, who is? That's the bottom line for all of us as Christians, whatever workplace or setting we we work in. You know, it, it's our mandate to pray. Um, we're the ones who God's appointed to be there. And um, and the other great thing is in which is our really a USP as an organization. It's Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's doing this together in groups. Um, it's uniting believers so that they together collectively can be a vibrant expression for Christ in their workplace. And we do this by sharing resources, best practices and experiences. If you look on our website, there are lots of video clips and interviews and great resources just sharing what people like you and me are doing day to day to, to, to try and make a difference. Um, and really our ambition is to empower believers across different sectors and industries to transform workplaces and change nations. So that really is the, the broad canvas of what we're seeking to do and what increasingly by God's grace we are seeing happening. Next slide, please. Well, at the heart of what we do are Christian workplace groups, as I've said, and uh, during the this, the, the current the financial year we're considering today, we added 42 new groups, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, and uh, many of you will know that we have a, a system of like a growth, a growth pathway for our groups where a group would start off just as an, in, an individual growing and getting established and then getting more embedded into their organization. So it's a, it's a, a pathway that groups can use to measure how they're doing, how they're um, becoming more effective within the organization. And these are called levels, and you'll see the, the groupings of the groups there. So we now actually have about, I think it's about 500, but at this time it's about 460 form groups um, with some more potential groups. Obviously groups come and go and some do fold, but this is a snapshot of where we are at the moment. Next slide. The other big and exciting area of act, our activity are the Christian professional and sector groups. Um, we have 50 groups now that are affiliated with us, um, ranging from very well-established ones like the Lawyers Christian Fellowship or the Christian Medical Fellowship or Christian Association of Christian Teachers to some new ones which joined us uh, over this year. So these eight new groups are, are, are listed. And in some cases, we actually played a major role in, in getting them getting them going and establishing them. So, and it's, it's been really exciting to see the groups working together. Ros organizes uh, weekly touch points and monthly prayer sessions for uh, the groups to gather to pray. Um, and, there's a, uh, and there's a lot of sharing of best practice and encouragement across the groups. And in fact, we now have a special page on our website, christianprofessionals.net, 
it's like a freestanding website that's linked to our website, which is really nicely has been really nicely designed where we've divided our groups into 13 different sectors, such as arts, media or educational health or defense. You can look at an area and find a professional group in your area. So really want to uh, celebrate this, uh, the growth of this activity around CPSGs. Next slide. And the other broad area of groups that we are very keen to support and encourage are what we call Christian workplace ministries. These are any Christian min ministries, whether they are entrepreneur Christian businesses or they are ministries which support Christians uh, like us in uh, doing stuff in the workplace like LICC or Faith at Work movement. We actually have 80 on our databases and it's such a joy to work together to coordinate and again share what we're doing with each other and benefit from each other's experiences and resources. Next slide. And then on to our team. And I am just so proud and thrilled at all the work uh, and, and dedication and service that I see across our family in Transform Work. We have a fantastic team of ambassadors who really are the bedrock. They're the guys who and girls who go out and support the CWGs day in, day out. You know, they're the lifeline really to keeping these CWGs flourishing and also helping new groups get started. Uh, we have an ambition to have a 72 ambassadors uh, across the UK, uh, supporting a thousand workplace groups. How are we doing on that? Well, we're about a third of the way there, actually. We have 23 so far, praise God. Uh, and in fact, eight new ambassadors joined our team during the year that we're considering today. And there's been some more people joined since. That's really good. And, and the, the ambassadors meet in small hubs uh, once a month to uh, update and pray for each other. So we're really seeing that 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 uh, dynamic team of ambassadors grow and uh, be strengthened. And we we have ambition to see and more ambassadors, of course, in other parts of the country as well. We also have individuals who we call associates. Uh, you'll see the names of the people there. These are friends. Uh, who bring expertise, bit in evangelism, or in the case of Joe Cleese, uh, in uh, faith literacy, or in the case of Jeremiah, in uh, work around human rights and our legal rights as believers. So individuals that that anyone can call on to to provide uh, help. And Andy Moore, I shouldn't should remember to call him out too. He he's an apologist and can advise and assist around evangelism. On to our office team. And again, what would we do without our, our um, regular workers, be they employed or volunteers? So calling out a couple of volunteers that we really want to thank is Rafik Massey, who provides amazing, important um, IT support to us on a regular basis. Um, going back to the top of the list, a couple of individuals who have assisted us over this period, uh, Sam Porter as well, uh, who we've really got to thank for, for example, the christianprofessionals.net um, webpage, and Paul Nima, who continues to help us around partnership and strategy, Rio Summers, who um, provide amazing support to us uh, in our brand, in our rebrand, uh, Rashmi Horo, who joins our team as our finance officer um, about a year ago, well, May 2022, and uh, we really thank for her professionalism and her dedication. And then last but not least, the Loka family. Uh, Roz, of course, our, our well-known and, and much-loved CEO is with us today. Uh, and she really is the driving force and very much the public face of Transform Work. And we're so grateful to you, Roz. And I, I, I use this opportunity to, to thank you for your sacrifice and the many hours you spend way beyond your three days a week. I think we can all vouch for that. And then we were thrilled um, following an open competition to recruit Ali, uh, was his husband, um, as our, well, he does so many things, comms, administration, project management. Uh, he's a, he, he serves as a contractor uh, one and a half days a week. So really, Ali has, Ali's arrival has really strengthened our team massively and enabled us, for example, to re, restart those uh, e e-newsletters, which I know many of you really appreciate. Next slide. 
on to pastoral support and prayer. I mean, prayer is actually vital to all we do. And I'm thrilled to say that we've been very active across different areas of prayer activity. Um, Jesus to be revealed as an initiative we launched actually during this particular year. So we now see us praying at particular points in the, in the Christian calendar, Advent and Lent in particular, and also Pentecost with Thy Kingdom Come, where we gather and, and, and intentionally pray for the work of Transform Work, work UK and for our, um, our workplace groups. And uh, we also have been thrilled to uh, have the support, ongoing support of uh, Dave McFarland, Lloyd, Van, uh, Van Furan and Anne DeLazer, who've been helping us around uh, individual uh, hearing from God or praying, praying together collectively. And, uh, and in the case of Anne, the local houses of prayer um, and praying blessings. So we're seeing their expertise really come to help us to be more effective in our prayers, to hear from God and to uh, get others praying too. Next slide. Faith Friendly Workplaces, this is a growing initiative, very exciting, where Transform Work, we've been providing a leadership role in particularly in the person of Dave Law, uh, one of our ambassadors, in spearheading this new movement to see faith recognised in the workplace, faith more generally, that is, uh, through multi-faith groups, an initiative to really stand and uh, provide some standards as to what uh, faith-friendly workplaces should look like. Working with the University of Derby, um, uh, their multi-faith centre, uh, a, a steering group's been formed uh, with quarterly meetings and a lot of research now, which has been organised by the multi-faith centre into this whole area to build up uh, standards around this, uh, around encouraging employers to recognise faith and include faith um, in their in their workplace practices. So that's very exciting. And then one more, I think. Mar yeah, marketing and branding. Uh, uh, we're, we're covering the, the year that ended in Feb, but obviously since since then you'll be aware we have rebranded. Um, but during that year, we, that was the build-up year when we did all the research, we looked at options, we chose our colours, fonts and logos and all of that, uh, because obviously a rebrand takes at least a, a year to, to plan and prepare. So this was a year of preparation and uh, so thrilled with the way that's turned out. So thank you for everybody who's who's been involved in that, particularly Mel, for driving that. I think, yeah, Ros is now going to provide that quick update that I signposted. Thanks, Ros. Over to you. 